Hey guys, and warm welcome back to the channel. My name is Grace, if you're new here, and this is the Rusty Thicket where we do all kinds of Goblin Core stuff. And today is finally the day that we're going to do our spa day. So I've been waiting for a few weeks for things to come in because I bought some very specific stuff that I wanted to experience for this spa day. So as somebody with a lot of anxiety and maybe had a little touch of depression there for a little while at our last base um, because it was not the vibe, I got really into self-care. I think a lot of people did around the COVID time frame and uh, for good reason, you know, it's important. Self-care is not selfish as you've probably seen those, you know, memes and things online. But one of the best parts about it, for me at least, is it's a way to kind of connect with my spirituality because I tend to do a lot of like full moon baths and things like that. They always end up involving herbs and, you know, releasing things into the universe and all that kind of great stuff. So I just wanted to share a few things that I do for my spa days. And even though they're not always exactly like this, they're all fairly similar. I usually tend to make water a very big part of mine because I love rain. I used to not get a lot of that when we were in the desert and it really helped me feel more grounded and just I, I enjoyed my time anywhere I could be around or near the water. So foot baths, um, even just showers, but you know, like intentionally done showers, um, baths themselves. I tend to skip baths when it's super hot outside just because, you know, you're in hot water typically. Nobody wants lukewarm bath water, right? Because I don't. Um, but anyway, I have some things to show you guys. I'm really excited and then I'll just kind of put it all together in a beautiful little montage for you to see what I'm doing. And then at the end, uh, we'll put on a little face mask and sip a little chai tea. So I hope you enjoy. Please make sure you leave a comment for me below. What do you do on your self-care and spa days? Is there something I should add to mine? Because I am always down for a new self-care routine. Um, as you can tell, I am not wearing any makeup in this video. I don't really know what's happening with my skin. It's really red and blotchy and I've never really had acne before. So I think it's because it's so humid here. Um, but I'm hoping the mask that I've got this evening helps for that. So we're going to start there. This is a clay mask because clay and frogs and goblins makes the most sense, right? So make sure when you're doing a goblin core inspired spa day, you get yourself a clay mask. This one is Freeman. It has no harsh chemicals and it's a uh, Dead Sea Minerals, so I'm hoping that feels nice and cool. It actually it already feels kind of chilly in the bag, so that's great. In our bath today, we are going to be using some of my favorite stuff, which is this uh, Shea Butter White Tea and Jasmine. Um, it's just a foaming and milk bath wash. It doesn't get really white you know it's still pretty see-through as far as like the color goes but i like it because it smells great it feels really hydrating on your skin and for all of my military ladies you can get this at the exchange and it's pretty affordable also the commissary i think too okay you can't have a spa day without a candle and this one smells amazing it is waikiki beach coconut from Bath and Body Works. Um, and then of course you gotta have something fun. And I found the sweetest little, these little guys at like a Daiso. And you know, this is kind of, I'm an adult, I don't need them. But they were just so cute. Look at this little froggy guy and this little turtle guy. So they're gonna be my little bath buddies and then when I'm done with them, they'll just kind of sit with me at my desk after they dry out and stuff. And then something else, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not because obviously I already have the milk stuff, but uh, this is some kind of little frog in like a bath bomb situation. I think it's supposed to light up. It just looked like fun and I thought, you know, 
people who are looking for Goblin Core stuff might th find that really interesting. I think we picked this up at the Don Quixote and I'm curious to see what's in it. Okay, and then the thing that I was waiting on, the thing I cannot wait to show you guys. So I've always wanted one of those like headbands that holds your hair back when you're doing your makeup or when you're washing your face because it's kind of like that towel material. But I don't have one. And I thought, you know, I could be normal and buy just like a simple color with like the cute little bow. You know, you've seen them. But I had to be extra. And I did think about getting a frog one. But I went a step further than that. And y'all can laugh all you want. This made me so happy. I can't stand it. So get ready. Are you ready? You're not ready. I'm a snail. It is a snail headband. I wish the little eyes stayed up better, but it's almost funnier that they're like cockeyed. Anyway, I can't wait to put my mask on with this in the mirror. Okay, so first I wanna apologize for the lighting. I literally can't do anything about it. This bathroom, it is the way it is. At least it has a window, which is more than I can say for the last bathroom that we had in our other military housing. You guys can probably already tell I'm not really into makeup or fashion. Uh, not, you know, in the way that lots of girls are very good at anyway. Um, I never really have been, but spa days are great. I'm going to use whatever kind of brush I have so I don't have to apply it with my hands. We got our chai tea right here. Mm. And let's do this. Oh, it feels so good. I did not expect it to be green. Well, it's kind of like a blue, really, like the color of the thing here, but it feels so good. I would love to know in the comments below if you guys prefer clay masks or if you like those uh, cloth ones or the peel ones. Um, the clay ones have always been my favorite. I love the way they feel when they go on. And it takes a little more effort to take them off, but I swear my skin actually feels really good afterwards. Unlike those peeling ones, which can really irritate my skin. Okay guys, now that I look 
perfectly ridiculous. I am going to go hop in the bathtub and enjoy some me time for a little while. I really hope you enjoyed this quirky little goblin core spa day. I encourage you to have one of your own. It's uh, only going to get better from here because I have bigger and better ideas already. So please hit me in the comment section below and let me know what you all think and uh, how we can add even more goblin core goodness to the next one. So for Thursday, I have a really exciting uh, thrifting haul to show you guys. I can't wait for you to see what I found. Uh, those are going to be um, Goblin Core Trinket related. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely stick around. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And come back for plenty more weirdness to be had on this channel. This is not where we even begin. So uh, until next time, bye guys. Thank you.